Alrighty, fam. A handful of you are asking for me to review Ninja 3 Domination, and I know they're not really a trilogy and the stories don't match at all, but I had to start at the first one, so today we are going to watch Enter the Ninja, another glorious ninja movie provided to us by Canon Films, and it is incredible. So let's get to it, because this is Red Eye Reviews. Firstly, I do just want to thank all of you for the continued support of the channel and welcome all the new faces. I mean, I have really enjoyed watching the channel as it's grown and seeing this little community that we've kind of slowly been building together. Uh, A couple of you have suggested I start a Patreon. Uh, If any of you want to support the channel and my movie addictions, uh, we could go that route. But let me know what you think down in the comments. I've never really done one before, so I'm not entirely sure how to go that route. But yeah, we'll see when it comes. For now, we watch Enter the Ninja, and fun fact right off the bat, originally this movie was supposed to have Mike Stone play the main character, Cole, but it turns out his acting ability was not that great, so the director found Franco Nero, and he was in the city, hired him to do the role instead, Nero agreed, but he can't do karate of any kind, so Mike Stone stayed on as a stunt double, and pretty much all of the action scenes are going to be Mike Stone, And the biggest kicker is that Franco Nero is Italian and couldn't get an American accent down, so he's almost entirely dubbed by another guy named Mark Smith. And yeah, that's right. Franco Nero is the main character who does none of his own action sequences and says almost none of his own lines. Huh. Where have we seen that style of acting before? I, uh, can't really seem to think of it at the moment. But anyways... We start with a white ninja running away from red ninjas and a black ninja. Good old color combo ninja suits that don't mean anything. And did you really think he couldn't see you up in that uh, tree? I mean, you're all in red and the tree is green. I'm pretty sure you're visible from space. As he runs through this forest, he takes out a few of these other ninjas. He flying squirrel jumps into this pond. The black ninja does the same thing, but he can't really seem to swim very well. Or maybe he's not trying. I don't know. But he does get away. He sneaks his way into this little ninja base camp uh, thingy. Takes on a few more guys. And then decapitates an old man. Wow. That uh, seemed excessive. But then afterwards, he goes inside and just like chills. I don't know why, I just, I didn't expect uh, to see a ninja with a mustache. It just, it it caught me off guard, just a little bit. This is not really what I expect a ninja to look like. And then the other ninjas show up, and we learn it was like some sort of training exercise. Yeah, okay, that's weird. I mean, I know the guy outside, he looked a little mannequin-esque, but apparently that was an actual mannequin. This was just all a test to see if he's uh, worthy of being a ninja. Oh shit, that ninja's got a mustache too. Is that a thing? Do ninjas just have mustaches, I guess? Okay. Hold on. A lot of these ninjas have mustaches. Okay, this is definitely a thing. If you're a ninja, 50-50 chance you have a mustache. And then this one ninja, he's like, nah, screw this American guy. He isn't a ninja. He has no ancestors that follow the code. Everyone else is pretty cool with it. They, they seem to be fine with him. And then real quick, it just it just kind of bugs me. Like, why in the hell was the final challenge to be head the master? And then which one of these lovely ninjas can produce mannequin heads of this caliber? This is really good. There's so many unanswered questions. Was the master happy that his fake version was killed? Like, oh, yes, I loved the part where you tried to behead me, and I swapped myself out with a fake at the last second. I don't know. Anyways, Cole goes to hang out with his friend on this farm that's somewhere, I think the Philippines. And his friend just like weirdly wants Cole to sleep with his wife. Like, okay, he doesn't flat out say it, but he hints at it a lot. Now, whatever it was, maybe you should give Marianne a few lessons. Maybe he should. Mm. Like, what is that? Dude, if they bang later, that's on you. So they go into town, and they see these guys beating up some of the workers, and they're all like, uh, you know what, screw this. We can't work here anymore because this local gang bro will just beat us up. So this forces them to go and try to hire more people. And this guy, his name is The Hook. This, like, Peter Pettigrew-looking asshole. Yeah, he's the leader of the group that's terrorizing the workers. 
we learned that this hook guy works for a rich dude, and that rich guy wants to buy the farm from Cole's friend because there's oil on the property, and they want the, you know some sweet oil money. And now that we know Cole the ninja is hanging out with his friend, they need more men to attack the farm and bully the guy into selling the place. How many of you think you're qualified? Me, I'm one right here, man. I love that. How, how many of you are qualified? And then this dude in the back, like he doesn't step forward. He's like, ah, yeah, I got to I gotta be honest, man. I'm, I'm in way over my head here. So they test this guy's loyalty and they're like, all right, you know what? Kill that weird Igor looking bro to show us how tough you are. If that's tough, get down on your knees and pray. Ah! I think you got my point. And then he hooks him right in the private bits. And at that point, a bunch of the dudes are like, you know what? I'm out. I am not about to get poked in the crotch by this little dude. Go back to your castle, you creepy bastard. The group of workers have gained some confidence at this point, so they're like, you know what, screw it. We're going to come back, we're going to work for you, forget old hook hand. Let's have a cock fight! Come on, let's go! Over here, everyone! Wow, okay, that this is happening. Nothing makes a movie better than a good old-fashioned uh, chicken fight. That's what you got to do when you find yourself in a vicious cock fight. Then the hunchback of Notre Dame comes back in, whatever, this outfit. Uh, he's like playing safari, I don't know. But he's like, uh, guys, I told you not to work here. I will beat you all up. We're trying to bully this dude into selling his land. Okay, and at this speed, man, this dude is more likely to die from all the dust in the air than the dragging bit. Probably just like mild belly rash. But Cole shows up, he kicks all their asses, he tears this dude's hook off, and it, it looks painful, which I don't understand. I don't, I guess I don't know how hooks are attached. You forgot something. <laughs> okay, for real, I promise you all, I didn't add the trombone sound. That is the actual clip. God damn, I really love canon films. The more I watch these, they just do whatever they wanted. It was awesome. So the rich people want to meet with Cole's friend. Uh, oh, his name's Frank. I realize I haven't said his name yet. It's Frank. But they want to meet him and try to buy the property. Cole knows, you know, it's probably a trap. So he sneaks in with him. He knocks out this dude and Frank's like, hell yeah. And he just like knees the shit out of this old man's face. So while they're talking, Cole's like going around in the dark, messing everybody up. And they have the same issue with all the cannon bad guy goons. They don't shout. They don't make any noise. So he just like takes all of them out. And then they have like an old dude friend who lives in the town and he tags along and he gets to drop on the bad guys. So why don't you put him down now? All of you. And I, I've never understood this. It's in a lot of movies. There's like one guy with a gun telling 10 dudes with guns to put their weapons down and they always listen. It happens so often and it baffles me. It works every time. But they go to this bar to chat about the issue at hand. She's a very sexy lady. She, she wants it all the time. And for Christ's sake, Cole, she deserves more than that. Don't you think? Dude, stop telling him that your wife is horny and desperate. Do you want him to bang your wife? See, I told you. That's what happens. He banged your wife. Are you happy? Also, fun fact, that never comes up. He never learns his best friend banged his wife. But now the rich people are like, shit, I'm pretty sure this guy's a ninja. I'm not an ordinary man, sir. A ninja. Someone who has studied ninjutsu. I made some notes. And he decides I want to get a ninja, you know, for myself. Because I want a guy to fight Cole. And he goes to Japan. He meets the black ninja from the beginning. You remember the dude who hates Cole because he's an American? And that guy's super excited. He's like, ah, uh, look at all my toys. Okay, hold on, hold on. One more. I'm sneaky. Do you see me, dad? What? Dad? Oh. What? Oh, I, I didn't say dad. Oh, that's weird. Why did I say that? But so Cole and the old man, who's he's just like around in some of these scenes, uh, they go to break into the rich guy's office and find out why he's bullying Frank so much. Come on. Yeah, they knock these guys out and they take their outfits and we get naked guys in an elevator. You know, I have to say it never dawned on me before that I guess when you knock somebody out and take their outfit, this is... This is the result of that. This is what it looks like. And most movies don't show us this, but Canon Films really appreciates us. They're the studio that cares enough to be this realistic, you know? So while they are at the office, the Black Ninja is over at Frank's place, and he's messing the place up. He attacks them both. He kills Frank. 
He takes the wife hostage. And dude, Black Ninja is crazy. I weirdly love it, though. Like, he's just randomly kicking passerbyers. Cole gets there. He finds his friend. He gets a flashback to the war they were in together. A war where it kind of looks like they're the only two people fighting in it. I don't really see anybody else in this, but regardless, he's now, like, full revenge mode. He heads straight to the base. He attacks him head on. You are, mister. Pity he wasn't Japanese. He might have enjoyed his harakiri then. Hey, whoa, time out. No, you can't say that. 80s or not, that's like, that's super not cool. But so the henchman takes Cole directly to the boss in a car, because he said that's where they're keeping the lady. Where is he? He's waiting outside in the car, sir. And then he acts all surprised when the ninja doesn't stay in the back seat. So he's gone, he's killed all the guards, and the boss and ninja disappeared. What did you expect, him to just sit there and wait for the bad guys to come get him? Anyways, he sneaks inside. He starts setting off all these smoke bombs. Well, don't just stand there! Fight him! The big boss is mad because he worked really hard on those pyrotechnics, and he wanted to set them off, you know? Cole goes around killing everybody. And this is a great example why henchmen should not be allowed to bring their children to work. Because this dude's like 15. This other guy is making some rather unmanly sounds, but I i mean, I suppose it's fitting he's getting his ass kicked by bobby pins. Cole then appears, easily jacks this dude up, and then the final boss is the Black Ninja. And that, he's like, he's an honorable guy, you know? He lets the girl go. He's like, let's do an honorable duel. I mean, okay, let's do an honorable duel back up. Firstly, let's do all those really cool hand signs that we work so hard on as ninjas. He's like, oh yeah, we are totally gonna do those because they're freaking awesome. After they do the hand signs, then they start to fight. That's not honorable, Cole. That, I mean, it, that was a cheap shot, but I guess, you know, do you, bro? And then in a moment of desperation, he grabs the sword by the blade, flips over, and stabs down on the Black Ninja. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but the moaning doesn't sound right. Like, hold on, can I try something? Like, back up. Let's just remove the visual element here, and let's just listen to the audio. I'm curious. Yeah, that doesn't sound right at all. You have won with honor. I mean, if you call throwing flour in your eyes honorable, then sure, he, yeah, he was honorable. And then he asks for a clean death, and Cole beheads him, and then they leave that place. Sure you won't change your mind? I mean, I just saw you decapitate a dude, which was, you know, it was pretty messed up, so I, I think I'm good. Thanks, though. Really, thank you. And then the movie ends, and we see Peter Pettigrew has, like, a shitty new job. And it ends on Cole doing a fourth wall break? Excuse me? Winky face at the camera? God damn it. That is why I love canon films so much. What won't they do? Okay, that movie was amazing. I can't wait for the next Ninja movie, but now on to Red Eye Reacts. This looks like what a four-year-old would do with a pair of nunchucks. Hey, Frank, what about Africa? What about Africa? I gave him three seconds. He took five. Anyway, I don't like guns. Hey, Cole, buddy, just because people are staring at you, it really doesn't mean you have to say something. Let silence be a thing. It's fine. Oh, yeah, here comes the big dance number. Oh, no, wait, there's, there's only two of them. Don't you ever get tired at the sound of your own voice? God knows I do. I feel personally attacked. You saying I talk too much? And this ninja is working for Landers? Well, I want a ninja. Yeah, we all want ninjas, man. It's not that simple, though. You have to, like, buy a colored robe. You have to be able to fold your fingers into, like, origami weird ways. You have to be big into choreographed numbers. You have to love obstacle courses. Sha. Kai. Jin. 
Retsu. You are here, aren't you, Ninja? 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 I told you I was ready to talk! What's this, Jazz? I don't know, brother. You just called me a jive turkey? No, he did not. He, uh, called you a cocksucker. Yeah. yeah. Right? Right, what it is? Yeah, yeah. I just called you a cocksucker. It's my money and I need it now! It's my money and I need it now! I want my black ninja and I want him now! All right, everybody, that was Enter the Ninja. Thank you to those who suggested these. I am so glad to have come across these movies. We will absolutely be watching the next one and the third one and all the other ninja movies we can get our hands on. Uh, Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I love all the views. I love all the interactions. Hitting the subscriber button would really mean a lot to me. Like the video. Hit the bell to get reminded. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about ninjas. I totally forgot to mention, Cole's friend never found out that Cole slept with his wife, so we all get to live with that. But let's not dwell on it too long, because uh, the video's over. We'll see you in the next one, and until that fateful day, stay happy and stay healthy.